back to the old two stroker YouTube channel. My name's Wayne. Today we're working on this junk. What we got going on today is come for a walk, I'll show you. Remember we went on a epic 2,000 mile road trip here to bring back this junk. And uh, about our only casualty was this wheel seal. And it is greasy. Let's see if I can get y'all in there for, oh, disgusting. So, we're gonna get this backed over here in front of the shop and get it pulled apart and see if we can't, see if we can't get a friggin' new seal in her and find out what the cause was. I'm kinda curious what the deal is with it. So, let's dig in. Disgusting. Wow.
left in there. Pleasantly surprised. This is probably mildly tight. Better be anyway, maybe that's the issue. What uh -huh. loose? I, mean, I really thought this bearing was going to be loose or something. I can't imagine why. The wheel seal would be bad. Two piece seal, so maybe it's a single piece seal. I don't know how you think about that, but whatever. There, I guess it's a single piece seal, but it, the inside of it, it, it the seal. It, let me get one, Jesus Christ! All right, so, new seal. Here's how it works. I don't know what guys call them, I don't really care. But so how it works is this inner ring here seals on this lip of the axle and this one seals on the inside of the hub and these two pieces in theory they turn separately from each other see uh -uh. like that and so the seal, the sealing is done actually in here. And I think that's where our failure was. It's kind of where this grease is coming out of. So we'll have to, have to pull the other one. We'll get it out, get a look at it. I'll flip this hub over here. I think it's about done draining. I want to see if there's any evidence where where that leak was coming from because I'd really like to know if this is an issue or if it's Covered 
and schmoo. Hammered it in with a flat blade screwdriver and I think, nope, I thought maybe we had something there. There she goes. I was trying now. Holy shit, that thing was in there. Bearing looks good. Alright, let's get these brakes off, get them down to Capital Inn, and get some new shit. I hate touching the shit. All covered in schmoo. What a pain in the ass. Ping. that shit it's all brand new everything's new so I mean like any of it really needs replacing just I'm not bothering to clean these shoes fuck that we're just gonna take them down there and get new ones what a kick in the nuts though they're literally brand new and that thing is pissing holy shit all right fellas we're back Minor delay of game. Had shit to do. Got some brandy new shoes here. I'm a little bit upset because they're a different color than all the other ones on the truck. That's not the point. Fellas, springs were easy. I like to add a little bit of just a dab of grease just to the uh, in between the roller and the what do you call it. Pretty friggin' simple. Oh, buddy! Get your finger in there! <laughs> Need to put the bar the right way and then you're good. So that. 
scores. That's it. Let's see how she sets in there, fellas. Alrighty. That small game breaks are done. We can put the drum on. Well, we can put the hub on now. God, I can't put the drum on yet. Get ahead of ourselves. Uh, that's good. So what we're going to do now is we got to assemble the hub. We're going to put the bearings in the hub. Put a little bit of RTV on here just because it's pitted. And then we're going to... We gotta soak that bearing in oil and get it ready to go. We'll assemble that. So let's go. All right, boys and girls, we got uh, what I just want to do here is there's a couple nicks on the surface. We're just gonna give them a little bit of a spritz here so they don't. Recommy. I'll take all the schmoo out. Take all the hard stuff out. I just want to get any of the. Just so you can't feel them with your finger no more is good enough. You ain't gotta be perfect. Wipe 90% of it out of there. But that's that. So what we gotta do. Yes. I'm gonna take our bearing here. Make sure I don't have any RTV on me, which I don't. Lube. Put one of those. Get it in there nice and deep black. And man, I don't know. I can't put a bearing in dry. Can't do it. So maybe it's just me, but I like to get her a little bit lubed up. Give that race a little bit of a touch. Coagulate in there just a little bit. So the seal goes on your seal installer tool somehow. Like that, get that in there, like that, and it could be a trick to get them square. Even all the way around. Somehow this thing. Holy shit. Just like that. Put the RTV on the axle, slide this assembly on. You know what we're doing. All right, boys, get the RTV on the doodly do there. Try to put that right on the seal, that's good. It's helpful. Just want to get it 
a little bit wetter than it is just because wetter is better and we'll wipe the oil we just got all over the seal as if you'll remember from day one oil and rtv do not mix like that it'll at least hold it and this goes in there yeah see now she's tightening up back out and try to get that bearing back out and I want to I'll add more lube if I can inside the hub I don't know if I'm gonna be able to but it'd be ideal if I could yes has oil in it now to where it won't it absolutely cannot run dry which is all we were concerned about honestly Now the bearing's got a little bit of lube in there. She's in good shape. Tighten her down all the way. So these. back it off and then these are set to 70 foot pounds and that sets that seal And it's 70 pounds sounds like a lot, it's not at all. And we like to clean this shit. The old schmoo off her. Give her a lie. Go fit in there like that. And then if you so if it needs adjusted, you gotta back it off, but that's perfect. Sets right in there, which is that's right where that was last time, so. 
Now I remember our boys, we never let you forget something when you don't listen to them. And, uh, I did wheel studs on this uh, a while ago. The, this entire truck. And I Big Tex was like, hey, click. Big Tex was like, hey, you can't, you can't reuse that, that wheel bearing or that wheel seal. And I said, the hell I can't. It's a fucking one piece seal. Why wouldn't I be able to reuse it? It didn't make sense to me. Well, as usual, Big Tex is never wrong. I didn't think that, I was like, no way, dude. That's a, this is a different hub. It's the same hub. This is torch marks. I'm getting this stud out because I couldn't get it out. So he's right. I'm an idiot. I'm trying to save a buck. Story of my fucking life. Way she goes, fellas. So... Don't reuse your wheel seals, even though they're single piece. They're not reusable. Don't do it. Buy a new wheel seal. Don't be cheap. Already clean the drum up. She's minty. Oh, there's a little bit smelling outside there. Can't have that. Boys, they ain't light. Yes. Perfect. I like to just try to keep rotating that. Give that RTV a chance to set up. I mean, at some point you're going to have to walk away from it, but while I'm right here putting it together, might as well keep the RTV out of the seal. So, let's see. Okay.
Don't tell your Uncle Wayno does the wheel bearing. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate you coming along with me on this journey. That wheel, that wheel seal's my own fault. Sometimes you gotta learn shit the hard way around here. Anybody who's been around trucks their entire life probably tell you you can't reuse those, but I just don't understand how it's one piece and it seals on itself, how you disturb that seal when you pull it off and put it back on, being as you don't, if you're not rammy. Uh, using the pry bars like I did there, obviously probably wasn't reusable anymore, but and we took it apart, but I don't remember taking it apart like that last time. Regardless, I'm not 100% sold on that deal, but now I know that it is not reusable, so don't reuse them. Next time we gotta pull one apart, we will just replace the seal. I got them in stock, that's why we keep them here. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned a lesson that the easy way instead of the hard way, like I learn everything. Even though my friends tell me, hey dummy, don't reuse that. Sometimes your old brain department, you know, doesn't agree with them. So you gotta learn it the hard way. So I learned the hard way. No harm, no foul. It cost me a hundred bucks and break shoes. Whatever. That's a uh, pretty cheap lesson when it comes to trucking. So thanks for watching. Check the website. We should have koozies, maybe keychains by the time you see this. We're working on keychains. Koozies, keychains, magnets, stickers. All that shit should be on the website. We're working on t-shirts. I don't know when this video is going to come out, so I'm not sure whether or not uh, the t-shirts will be out by now. But keep an eye on the website, old2stroker.com. That shit's up there. Black mud flaps back in stock. Don't know how long they'll be here, so get them while they're hot. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.